Ooh. Which draft do I like the best? It's a hard call, because his Granger isn't a hero that has like an excellent win rate right now. On the on the flip side you have a Dyroth that's that remains <laughs> yeah. to be proven. So it's the, it's such a coin toss. No no team just wins the draft flat out for me. Yeah, I wonder too, I wonder. I don't know. It's uh, they got a, both of them got a good draft to be honest. But yeah, oh, execution wise, going let's back leave to his it up comp. to the core. I like it. going yeah. back to his comp. He's playing a core Akai. <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting. Usually he plays that hero a lot as a support, so he doesn't get as much gold. So he'll be able to do a lot more with the amount of money what he'll be getting. It's just, it's, rag armor was popped, but no further follow up there. Let's see. It's gonna be yeah, a they're three just gonna man keep squad. playing it chill. But for the meantime, it is not a chill sh session for Team Lupon as they want to poke a hell out of Coach Chuck on the mid lane part of the map and as well as in the bot lane. We have an action ongoing. Visakol Shook's TV is super low in terms of his HP. Joman is very careful in his position. No ultimates connected coming from that. YOLO is kind of a waste, but it's okay. Although none get poked out, Figure although out a flicker out was committed here by just the Mel. They can push this I'm anytime or at least uh, create the space to steal some of the jungle comps on the side of Team Lupon at the top side. But it looks like a mirror is happening because we can see they're going all into the bot side as well. Dyrus will be falling down. Chook Stevie is out of the map. He is the first casualty on the side of Team Ubos. And that was weird because they showed before he went into that lane, they showed from the shrubbery. So it was kind of weird that he still went forward with that, but it's still, at least it's going to be a trade. If you're going to get a tower, but still, you did not want to die like that if you were Busakol. Yeah, for sure. Um, Zeus, though, made a good decision in terms of backing away early on, but for the meantime, Chuck's TV looks like he will be another casualty. Are they gonna go all in? Yes, left it will connect. The Granger will take the kill. Now, Team Oboss going for a response in here, trying to catch up Fiolo as well. Joma is trying to stop the Pepper. Oh. There goes the Minister Stump. Going for the Minoan Fury, try to chase Yolo, but Yolo is already back. Chantel, though, having a hard time getting stopped by those slows from the side of Oboz, and she will be a casualty. Oh my goodness, I think there was a miscommunication that happened between Yolo and Chantel. They did not Definitely. connect. And, and they're gonna give away the turtle just because of that. Akai is in the area, Chakno. Let's see if he can do anything. A bit too far decided against it despite having hurricane dance available as well as the flicker still playing it safe team lupon still in this game definitely lu is going to be spotted out here is he going to be able to walk away no no chance jama gonna fall very low pain will you get the revenge for your lover unfortunately not it's gonna be one for nil in favor of lupon mm -hmm. but top lane sir zeus and in name wants revenge for his falling comrade. Will he have the damage? Unfortunately not. x did get under the tower. So Zeus is gonna be fine here. And lots of action across the map. YOLO on that Granger. The forgotten hero. Let's see. He is 2-0-1 right now. So YOLO definitely on pace to carry this game later on. Yeah, for sure, but let's not discount. Oh, hold up, thought because also the top side of 1v1 is ongoing right now. He's gonna get this one. Aning Ning trying to back. The oh, that was a very deep overextension by just ML onto the top side. Jomado trying to back away, being chased down by Coach Chuck TV. Okay, now he's scared. He's definitely not gonna be overextending anymore, but for the meantime, still having a hard time. On the bot side, is Chuck's TV. Bisa call. Well, um, I, I, I think, you know, the pressure is in, but fortunately though, a backup yeah. incoming from Pain. But yeah, you can see what Team Lupon is doing here. They're not stopping in punishing and pressuring that Dyros, that uh, Chooks TV on the bot side. You can feel the nerves though from both teams right now. Oh, Hurricane Dance perfectly oh, done. Yeah. Dyros is in a fall. Zero with three on zero already. Oh, One, no. two. Chokes TV. 
Turtle yeah, this is not feel soon. good for Team Ubos. It's still a close game. Don't count Ubos out, but the Rafi definitely needs a pick me up right now. Turtle is gonna be secured. Well. Thames is in the area. Aning Ning. As well as the Min Minotaur. See if uh, they can make a play oh, here. Nice oh, stream out in Fury! Perfectly you know done! The damage ball unfortunately it wasn't no there. Way. But there is gonna be left for dead here, it seems. Oh no, flicker away. No, they have the movement speed. Bouncing ball not gonna be enough to save you, my friend Carry picks up that one. Who? Who got turtle? But wait, go shock TV. We'll be slowed down here over in the back line, Chantel making the plays yet again on that Kagura. Very low chat loop. Thousand pounder forward. No one to follow up though. And that will be the disengage. No, they're still chasing for the Minotaur. They want the prime beef. Granger wants that burger and he is gonna get it. 4-0 and 1 now on the Granger. Fight doesn't seem to be over just yet. All across the map, chat loop. Let's see. Very beefy boy. Oh, carry Granger over on the other side of the map. Did pick off the kill. And the fight's still not over over here in the bot lane. The Roth is gonna be so down. 2 and 1. Mm -hmm. What can you do? 8 is to uh, 4 now. That, that was, was crazy. Long... I thought yeah, the fight was over, was a... but. Shut down. Yeah, to the top side, that 2v1 just happened, and yeah. Uh, I was still shook on that steal coming from the Minotaur, making use of the Mino and Fury to set up both to set up team fights. And two, I don't know if that was accidental, but I want to call it purpose, like calculated move by the Mino and Fury uh, stealing that turtle. But then again, right after that, we thought that it's going to be Team Ubos's game already, but Team Lupos was able to make a comeback. And speaking of comeback, it seems like they're still. Pretty much evening out, not just the Turtle gold lead, but soon. at the same time the position in the map. No one is actually giving space for anyone uh, on on the river side even. So as you can see, they want to meet up again on the middle side. Are they going to go for a team fight? They're going to be poking each other out. Those are just the tank. No team fights will happen just as of yet. The next objective on the map is already up and running. Ufra will make the engage over in the top lane, but bot lane, there's still action going on here. Perfect hurricane dance. Kufra will fall just on the other side of the map. Chakma just manning up. He's still pretty tanky, but no, he has to use his flicker Ooh. out. And finally, we go to the top lane where Kufra is the lone casualty, but that opens up the objective of the map for them. They're off. He is showing Imagine. that even if he's 0 4. Uh -huh, go on. Yeah, imagine that was Chuk's TV having 0 4 0, and he went up against Jack having 1 0 4. And he was actually the one who won the fight, a 1v1 fight a while ago in the bot side, sending Jack to, to go back to the base and regenerate his HP. So it seems like what a more if Chuk's TV, got, uh, TV got the items that he needs in order to get the damage and more sustain. But Unfortunately though, that carry will fall down onto the ends of Nikagura onto the mid side. Valir needs to be very careful as well because four to three members on the side of uh, Team Lupon are trying to chase uh, them uh, down. Fortunately enough, they're going to the knockback available onto the bot side. We can see Dairo taking down the tier to turret. Jacknu going so low, he got the damage that he needs, forcing Akai to back away. And another team fight is still happening here. They're not stopping. Joma still trying to slow down the members of uh, Team Obos. But, ooh, they're, uh, you know what? I, I think both of them sometimes they think oh i really i really are we really gonna go for the fight or should we back away i can feel that you know um like sometimes a decision um that is still not firm within this team yeah definitely i mean they haven't really been playing together that long compared to what we normally see in competitive mobile legends right Mm -hmm. Joma is over in the back line. Tried to go for a pick off, but good positioning from Liu onto that Valir. To point out that Jokes, he's 0 4, but he's now definitely back in this game. Like, yeah. he, he was. He, he forced Chakno to go back two times in a row now. Nakop is gonna be there. Chantal will be the first to fall. Joma to follow. Two quick kills for Team Obos. 
And that is just perfect timing. As the Lord is resurrecting, they are getting the map control. Two man stun. Oh, Yodo oh. still does so much damage. Unchecked here, Pain Flex. He wants to go for revenge here, but can't just close the distance quite yet. Okay, Chaknu. Let's see, he does have their. Does not have Hurricane Dance. So he that will disengage. Was... Just a little bit of misposition by Lou on the top side. Maybe if she didn't die, uh, there was a chance for Timo Boss to even take the Lord of the game. So unfortunately, she went down, so they have to wait for her to go back alive before they can even set up another team fight. I, I'm, I wonder what uh, itemization Chooks has in here with the dial. It seems like he went on full damage because okay. what was it that? Yes! He's actually going for the damage, that's why the Akai was having a hard time a while ago on the so boss tanky, side. <laughs> right? Yeah, he's still Just so tanky here because of, of the jungle item that he has. But for the meantime, another fight is ongoing here. A setup incoming from Coach Talk TV. And they're going all in onto the back side. Getting it's suppressed. Is that Kagura, but in the end, Triple she will kill a die. Triple kill for our yeah. carry. Pain is actually doing it, and it is a uh, maniac. And while that was happening, we can see Tukibi already pushing the bot side part of the map. My goodness, is this gonna be Team Bosses game already? Well, they ha they've had the lead, the gold lead, for quite a while now. Shooks just manning up against just ML. And Feraga armor is popped, and what can you do? Okay, Joma is here for the extra help, but Ghost is still gonna be up and available for Shook, so he is feeling pretty safe. They're just gonna wait for the Lord to march with them, and there's gonna be another go time for Team Boss. And just like that, right? Team Boss, they are just the I power of love is prevailing. Oh, like two oh, man, the no one, Yuri, perfect. Again, that was actually three. Chantel tried to go for the backline pick, unsuccessful at that. Now it's a 5 and 4 for the next 30 seconds. What will Team Obus do? Chooks TV is just over in the bot lane, waiting for an opening. Well, okay, they're just gonna shove what out is, all lanes. <laughs> He's baiting all of them. He was baiting all of them. And I He's like just this in their heads right I now. like this. Yeah, just a swag play, you know? For Asserting sure. dominance. As they say, okay, Chantel oh, is almost here. up now, but the Lord is here. See? Lord, whacking away at, at the, the base. Drama will be over the front. Okay. <laughs> okay, Coach Chuck, maybe Drama will die here. Nice hurricane dance. Bishop, well, Chuck Steve is just so tanky right now. He's not dying. Like, he doesn't care, okay? Ah. It's just a Only you. No one died. No one died. No one died. <laughs> But they're super low, they're, they're super low, and Team Lupon is actually near in their base, they can just basically regenerate. It's gonna be dangerous for Team Oboz to even overstay. Do remember, the carry is not even there yet. Zeus getting poked down by Lu in here. Okay, that was the dangerous part. The members of Team Oboz, Bisakol, Tux TV, and Coach Chuck TV, uh, overstayed in the middle lane part of the map yeah. and knowing that Team Lupon can just go back nearby their base to regenerate their HP and uh, you know if, if Parry actually didn't back out or maybe some of the members of Team Lupon's event this would be already uh, a comeback comeback by Team Lupon and now they they have to wait 33 more seconds before everyone on the side of Team Boss is back all alive. Again, this is 14 minutes game time. The death timers are heavy. You cannot make any risky plays that you are not sure of. And upon making the smart decision to just back away there, they knew that they would just have that one person advantage, especially with the mere fact that the Minotaur is alive. It just makes your team fight that much harder going for that middle lane push. And Team Boss mm -hmm. putting their foot right back onto the pedal here. Just going down mid once again. Minotaur leading the charge here. Just trying to bait them out. Cool. Okay, the moment it's of so truth intense. very near for both teams. One turn left on the side of Team Lupon. Look at the position of Akai. Seems like he's prepared to set up. Something, yeah, but yes. oh, very careful. They might be the cash in here with an opportunity. Cool, well, have fun. 
Ubis ako. Oh, Ubis ako. 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 Ubis King Mubos might like might just wait out the next lord here. They're not gonna force the issue right now, but this is Lupon's opening. If they want to secure the lord for themselves, they have to force a fight now. And it all starts with Jack. Will you find that hurricane dance? There we go. Luke has been spotted out for the start. The Jack will control oh, no. is gonna be there, but the shield. No, it's not gonna be enough. Jack will die here. Joma tried to go and give his life, but it's not gonna be for a good cause. And this looks to be the end for Lupon, but no, not under YOLO. Watch that is very, very beefy. I mean, very rich Granger with Yolo playing it. Okay, the Lord is now up, but man, that could have gone both ways. If if Chaco just thousand pounded into that, he couldn't. Oh wait, he couldn't because Flicker was available. If Flicker wasn't available, yeah. we couldn't make that extra risk. But I like this follow-up coming from Joma. Sure, he was having a hard time in setting up some fight, but for the meantime, let's take a look at what is about to happen in here. On to the Lord's side right now, there's a chance for Team Lupon to even steal this one now. Who's getting the last hit? Uh, oh, oh, no, the was definitely still away. The Lord from him. Oh, there was just basically going all in. One member down, Chantel is out, Duke to figure out, really nice Duke out, being chased down by Pain. So what is Blue? The Lovers are chasing just ML right now! And just ML will fall down just like that. The Lord is here, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to be an easy um, clear of minion ways and objective in here in the middle lane because they got to carry on their end. So Shucky trying to look for an opening here, just throwing his body, he's baiting Lupon right now, I like it. While the rest of his team just goes for the Lord. There we go, all of the effort of, of just ML just goes down the drain. With that Lord being taken out, Chuck, no? I can spot it out there, yeah. YOLO. Doing oh, a lot of time. damage. Ooh, he is like, if he is left unchecked in these fights, he's a, he has 11 kills with his bounty hunter emblem, so he is definitely very, very rich. I'm thinking who is the best hero to just go on top of them? Minotaur has that ability, but I think Minotaur would, I mean Chuck still wants to just go for the multiple hero Minowan theory instead of just going yeah. for that Granger oh, though. Did I say he that? Oh. Happening there. Oh, no. Oh, again, zero eight one Tooks TV. Zero I, I, eight one. I'm trying to see if it's you know tactical feeding at this point. Is this really part of Team Obos's game plan? <laughs> I don't but think any like feeding it. program is part of a tactic. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. When you're giving goals to your opponent when doing that. Fortunately enough mm. though is the um, pain got a lot of farm that's that, that's why they're still leading and of course they got a lot of turret for the for the meantime you can see Joma has to follow an HP right now. They won't be chasing the members of Team Lupon in there. They will just simply want to get a position on this uh, Lord side but it's gonna take a while before it even goes up. But look at it like Lupon had the numbers advantage because the Chooks was still dead in that last fight, but they still didn't feel comfortable enough to go for the fight. And it just goes to show how much ahead they and how behind they feel they are against Ubos right now. Uh, I think they, they respect the true damage from the carry as well. Um, it's gonna be a tough call for Chakno or even Joma to go in because their HP are just getting shred down by this carry. Look at Joma right now, having 6 deaths in his record, in his ADA, it looks so bad, but you know, he can't do anything because that is a carry, and carry will just focus fire on this inhibitor, turn to the mid, it will fall down, who's gonna be going for a set off, low HP in our tank in support for both sides, coach doesn't have the HP that he needs to go for a set up, it's gonna be dangerous, you have to back away. Mm, but that is all towers. Turrets. Having a hard time in pushing. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling okay. They're gonna wait for Lord, but I don't think a Lord is gonna like make or break this game. But it depends on the team fight around that Lord. 
Oh, what for sure. Were. Just like what happened a while ago. I mean, it got stolen by Team Lupon even. But in the end, although they stole it out, um, the, the clash still went in favor on the side of Team Ubos. Lord, I, I think it's soon. what contributed to that was their position in that area as well. I like it. Chooks, Chooks knows that the Lord is almost up, so he's readying over in the bot lane. He's probably gonna try and bait as many heroes to him as possible, but right now he just sees the export. He knows there's gonna be a 4 and 4 fight happening. Akai is ready. Flicker available, Hurricane Dance available, Chak, will you make the plays? Will you be the man of the moment, or will it be oh Coach no. Chuck PD? Bot lane is gonna be the fight between Just ML and oh, Chooks TV visible. He's falling very low oh, now, Flicker no. forward, and he's just gonna die. Okay, that is the immortality pop now, and I think that is gonna be... No, he's actually throwing his body forward even. Chooks? Chooks won't die just yet. Okay, there we go, he finally dies over and... No, the hurricane, that's perfectly done from Jack, who's definitely the man of the moment we're waiting for, and Coach Chuck TV, he's gonna be left alone here. He is gonna die three-man Minoa and Fury, but with no friends to help you, that's not gonna do a lot here. But Obosne can go for a sneaky play here. Because they have the potential to go I for the jungle. Hmm. And look at that. <laughs> the, the Minotaur didn't actually die after all of that. The three man Minoan Fury yeah. saved Ch Coach Chuck's life. It's kind of a tongue twister, his name isn't it? Coach Chuck. <laughs> Coach Chuck. Chuck I know, Coach right? TV. Yeah, it is, Coach right? Chuck oh, yeah, no, there, we have as well. But another in here, we dance. have another fight. Okay, Go that ahead. is immortality pop here. And he... Ooh, over in the back line, an inning has been caught out here. Okay, it finally falls 50 seconds without your Minotaur. That is gonna be bad news. Oh, and Sam's will die as well. Okay, this is looking very bad for Ubus right now. 60 seconds. Bart will be there. No names are shoved out. Carry. He's trying to make a beeline for the mid lane, shove as much as he can. But Valir and company, Lou, can you make a miracle play? But no, you're being caught out. Nice hurricane dance again, again for Chat Move. They're gonna knock off Lou. Lou is gonna survive for a little what? bit, but no. Oh! Chooks! Chooks! Oh wow, Chooks did it! Outplay from each oh, team, they're just playing out of their minds. And Five alive, Lane though. was actually oh, cutting off the minion waves as well. That's why Team Lupon is having a hard time. But for the meantime, the backup is incoming, protecting her uh, his princess. The queen, Lu, is here as well as Pain trying to duke out back to safety. Chakra is here as well to protect his friend Zeus. But for the meantime, it seems like overall, oh, almost to kill. But there goes the immortality popping in for uh, for Chakra saving his life. For the meantime, look at the HP of that Lord. This is yes. Lither of Hell. I wonder how long this can Living last. Living in the prayer ring, yes, definitely. Nah. He just dies before he gets to look at the base. Okay, oh! Four! Mass Minoan you know, Fury from Chuck Zoma will pop here. Chuck no hurricane dance over in the back line. Last insanity has been popped as well, Chanto. Everyone's go falling very low, but no one go can go base. for the juggler. Zeus is now left in the back line here. Viraga Armor will be popped, and you are now alone here. Zeus will pop here. See, holding on to the gear base, and, and they're just gonna Whoa. go for it. They're gonna go for the win, and Team Obos will eliminate Team Lo 